Hi, Tim Newton here from Phuket News TV. I wonder what we'd all do in an emergency situation, some sort of panic. It might be a fire, it might be somebody drowning, uh, it could even be like a, a terrorist attack. Now, what would you do? The question comes up because a company is started here in Phuket called SGS Training. And what they're trying to do is raise the tone, the general tone and quality of training right around the island. Now, we know that things can be very, very relaxed, but things do happen and we really need to ask, what would we do in a panic situation? We're gonna find out a bit more about what SGS do and also meet a very cute trainee right after this. Take your family, take your friends, or even take your colleagues on an extreme adventure. Climb a tree, swing freely from tree to tree, and enjoy walkways and other fun challenges. Call 076-383-689 or go to extremeadventurespuket.com. Barry, what's uh, today all about? Today's all about um, making people aware that um, uh, a training establishment is is here in, in Phuket, in Thailand, um, and to allow people to, to come down and to see the courses that we're actually developed and we're launching today. That's, that's what today is all about. You've got a really big task trying to be, bring occupational health and safety and the understanding of safety issues to a country like Thailand. Do you really think you're, you're bitten off more than you can chew here? Possibly. I, I think that's why I lost hair. Um, um, I, I believe that we have to start somewhere. It is, it is no good just, just scraping your shoulders and going, right, I'm going to leave it for other people. Somebody has to start somewhere. Draw the line in the sand and say, right, we're going to go from here. But we're not, we're not focusing on, on these people so much. What we're, what we're actually focusing on is taking it back to grassroots, taking it back to the children, because the children will be the next instructors. So that's, that's really where we want to develop our grassroots skills. Yes, train these people. Yes, train, up, train their staff, make people aware that these courses are available, but eventually let's, let's, let's take it into the schools, let's get the children being the next instructors. That's what we want to develop. What are the, the top three things that you would really like to address when it comes to safety issues? What are the top three? <laughs> Driving, um, safety at work, i.e. Being, being safety aware. Know where your fire escapes are, know where your fire points are, knowing what to do in an emergency situation and also allowing the ties to realize that the beaches are safe. They get taught at school that the beaches are not safe so they don't, they don't go down. And they don't learn to swim. Absolutely. So that's the three things that I'd really like to see different. Make people aware that, 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 that water safety is okay but you just have to have respect for it. Driving awareness, and then knowing your safety at work. What have you been doing with your own safety? Um, <laughs> I'd like to, to say that it's something, but um, I missed a cricket ball, and uh, uh, well, I dropped a catch, and um, yeah, there you go. Better safety at cricket games, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's the idea of the K9 unit, Russell? Um, it's mixed, actually. That there's quite, <laughs> quite a few angles to it. The the first point is it's a completely brand. I'm getting a bath here. You're getting a bath, yeah. Um, it's a completely new uh, product service, uh, not just to Phuket but to the region. So the idea is preventing, uh, providing, I should say, an extra layer of security for properties. Now that can be hotels, residential uh, properties, uh, marinas, schools, you name it. The, the basic idea is about putting more barriers in people's way. So rather than having an open window that someone can climb through, we lock the window, barrier number one. Number two, you might have a, a wall or a fence. Number three is you have guards. Number four, you might have the, the dogs patrolling. The more barriers that we have, the better. Now this is K. What, what sort of uh, duties does K perform? Um, 
when she's off duty, this is her. This is what a, a fully trained security canine does. Just chill Licks out, me. Go to sleep and yeah, we'll give you a nice little kiss and say hello. Um, is it, this is a drug dog though? Uh, she's she's a what we call a dual purpose dog. So I can use her for a security patrol and I can also use her for narcotics detection. In addition, Kay is actually also, I've trained her and certified her at what we call RH level two for a search and rescue. Um, you may recall, I think it was last year or the year before, a couple of people got lost in up in, uh, was it Bang Pei? A waterfall and they were lost overnight and there was a big uh, search for them now if they called me I could have taken Kay out there um, to, to go and help is Kay a, a soy dog or a special breed or what? Um, she's a purebred German Shepherd it's, yep doesn't look like it no um, there are actually four different uh, uh, color codes for German Shepherds you get the black and tan which is what you normally see on the police shows they tend to be the show line Shepherds the black the tan um, slightly slopey backs you get the what we call a bicolor. She's largely black, but you can see the brown on her paws. You also get white German Shepherds, and then what we call the sables as well. Okay. And where do you get dogs like this? Do you have to bring them in specially into Thailand, or can you breed them here? Um, a bit of both. I mean, Kay I brought from overseas. Um, I know uh, some colleagues over there who are specific breeders for working German Shepherds. Um, I know of a couple of breeders here in Thailand that breed what we call uh, show line German Shepherds. There's very different distinction. Um, so at the moment we're, we're speaking to a couple about bringing some working dogs in. Our kennels will hopefully be under construction fairly soon um, and that will get the ball rolling in terms of having the dogs and handlers going through our program. Um, and what's the demonstration about today? Um, today is to demonstrate a couple of things. One of the, the, the main question I get asked uh, by clients is what do you mean by a security patrol dog? They seem to think it means we're going to round up the local soy dogs and just have our guards walk around with them and obviously they've got concerns about that which are fairly valid. So I want to show them that a security dog is, is this. They're highly trained, very obedient dogs that work with our handlers um, when they're going out on patrol. Well, j just a local angle to it. I mean, is there any reason why you couldn't train a, a local soy no, dog to do these no, things? No, not at all. The, the, there's two things. Um, one of my soy dogs that I have at home would be phenomenal for scent detection. So she's A, got the nose for it, she's got the drive for it, she loves the game. And that's, that's really all it is. Um, and also today we'll be doing a demonstration for an alcoholic detection with Kay, which you'll get to see. The, the yeah, <laughs> yeah, wake up. The, the main thing at the moment is, this is very new for Phuket. Nobody really knows what uh, a security canine is. So if you kind of rock up with a mixed breed looking, happy-go-lucky dog, does that strike fear into the hearts of, of would-be um, uh, non-attackers, intruders and what have you? Is it about striking fear if we're working in hotels? It's about finding a balance. And at the moment, people look at a dog like Kay and they think, yes, that is a security dog that I can recognize from TV. I know what you're talking about. Over time, I would absolutely, as you know, I work with uh, the animal charities here, I would absolutely love to bring in the soy dogs and say that these guys can do the same thing. They've got the same skill sets. Obviously, you just need the dog with the right drive and then we can train them up. And that is definitely a route that I would like to take. It's probably not one I would use to start it. Okay, good luck with the canine services. Thank you very much. And okay, we'll show you the demo later on. And thanks for joining us on Phuket News TV. I've got Jason Wilder here from Live 89.5. Jason, uh, we're actually here at a, um, a conference today. How do you change the culture of, of safety in a place like Thailand? Because we're so relaxed. Well, listening to what's going on in the seminars here, these are the experts. And um, the statistics they're coming up with prove that the thing is that we need to change a lot of the things going on. Um, there's, there's kind of different aspects, but all of the courses that SGS are sort of training are all very important issues. A lot of the people who have been attending have very important questions and want change. That's the main thing. Um, now, the training centre itself has 
value in all these it has the actual um, experts who know how to make these changes so it's going to be a slow process but it, it's not easy to answer just in one go and there is there is a lot that needs to be changed because on your radio program and uh, in the Phuket news we report the drownings we report the traffic accidents and we we sort of just let them pass by as just another news story but a lot of these things can be prevented yeah, for sure, they can be prevented. Another thing is that we obviously report all the all the bad stuff that happens, but one thing I, I'll take away from today and these seminars is that there is positive stories as well of things that are changing as well. So let's not just completely see the negatives. There are things that we don't report and we could report more on because I think that if you start spreading the words of positivity, then this will in, in fact change for the good and for the better of the island. Jason Wilder from Drive On Live, thank you. Pleasure, check me out. Well, today was the launch of the SGS seminars, and if you'd like to find out more about how to protect your employees, about safety, about preventative measures to make sure accidents don't happen, then you can go to sgspuket.com. Thanks for joining us on Phuket News TV. Nestled amongst the 20 kilometer golden sands of Natai Beach, Alinta Phuket Panga Resort and Spa for relaxing, romancing, or even a dream wedding in paradise. Alinta Phuket Pangna Resort and Spa is your destination.